We got one new brawler, five hypercharges, no more club league, and so many skins to talk about. Welcome to the Brawl Talk Breakdown. First, we've got a new brawler named Charlie. She's a chromatic brawler with a unique background. Charlie grew up on the streets learning all sorts of tricks and was eventually discovered by her local bizarre circus. She's really good at her circus tricks and became the center attraction. Charlie is also the first brawler in the bizarre circus trio. Her main attack is super cool. She uses her hair like a yo-yo, moving in a straight line and hitting enemies. Unlike Carl though, she only damages enemies once when she hits them. Now, here's the awesome part. Charlie's super ability is called Cocoon. She fires a web at an enemy brawler, cocooning them in place. The Cocoon has 8,400 HP and loses health over time. While in the Cocoon, brawlers can't do anything but wait. Allies can help them by breaking them out of their Cocoon early. But when they do exit, they lose half of their HP. And there's more. Charlie's hypercharge powers her up and creates spiderlings. Although we're not sure if these little critters have a special effect. Subscribe for future sneak peek videos to learn more about Charlie. Of course, Charlie has some fantastic skins. Rosie Charlie is a tier 70 skin where the cocoon turns into a beautiful rose and her main attack looks like a spider web. If you're into superheroes, the amazing Charlie is a tribute to Spider-Man and can be yours for just a low price of 29 gens. Remember to use code pen in the shop. But the excitement doesn't stop there. Five existing brawlers are getting their hypercharges. Jesse Scrappy gets 50% tank gear and deals more damage. Rosa gains a slow area around her when using her super, making it easier to chase down opponents. Lou can automatically freeze all opponents in his super and Maisie's basic attack is added to her super. Colette gets a little helper when she uses her super and she now hits the enemy twice. That's pretty cool, right? All these hypercharges, including Charlie's, will be available on the same day in the shop and in star drops. Plus, the collector's bundle can be purchased with gems at a huge discount. It's now 144 gems instead of 667, but the flip side is that you can't buy it with coins anymore. After two weeks, you can still buy the regular hypercharge with coins for 5,000 coins, or just get the hypercharge alone for a discounted price of 79 gems, which is really good. Now for something fun from the previous update. Hypercharge Unleashed comes back to Brawl Stars. You no longer have to win 25 games, and I remember how much of a pain point that was for everybody. But now all you gotta do is activate your hypercharge 15 times to complete the quest and unlock a random hypercharge from the 12 that are available in game. The event kicks off on update day. So embrace the chaos. In the bizarre circus season, we've got the ringmaster Byron skin. Nana, Sunny, and I will be giving away more than 10 skins on Twitter. You can also win one through my Discord. All the links are in the pinned comment below, so make sure you join up. Then there's the Cobra Lola and Dark Clown Sam skin. That Dark Clown Sam is definitely going to give me some nightmares. Reminds me of it. And finally, you can get the Tust Anita skin, which is a 299 gem price tag. It includes a pin pack, a player icon, spray, and a custom takedown effect. Now, get ready for Brawloween with White Wolf Leon, a mythic skin, which is a variation of the Werewolf Leon skin, and Hoo Hoo Shelly, which is a variation of the Witch Shelly skin, with an owl instead of a cat. I'm sure people who miss out on the exclusive skins are going to be really happy happy that these have come back but in a different form. Plus, Kabocha Fang is a Supercell Make Winner skin made by Glowing Shark. As the volley approaches, we have some exciting Ramina themed Warrior Journey skins, all featuring new special animations. Das's Grom is inspired from the god Ravana, a fierce foe of the god Ram. Supreme Bow likely takes an inspiration from Ram, and Ram's brother Lakshman also makes an appearance as Brother Bow. A very popular god Hanuman also makes his appearance as Vanara Frank. And there's more to come. Lavish Lola is a variation of the exclusive Rebel Lola skin. Boy Scout Gus reminds me of the main character Russell from the Pixar movie Up. Mecha Edgar also gets some color variations in the form of Mecha Edgar Unit 00 and Mecha Edgar Unit 01. For all those Canadian fans, don't miss out on the Hockey Mortis, which shoots a hockey puck instead of bats when using a super. We're not sure about the occasion for it, but it'll all be explained at the World Finals event this year. Now it's time for some club changes. Club League, Club Games, Club Coins, and the Club Chop are 
are going away. Even if you haven't already spent your club coins, they will be evenly split between power points and coins when the update rolls around. Personally, I'd recommend getting the coins. Also, if you want to buy the club skins, you got to do it now if you want to do it with club coins. This is your only opportunity to do so as after the update, they will only be purchasable via bling or gems in the shop. It was briefly mentioned that there is a new way of inviting members to a club and also finding a club. They haven't shown us exactly how that's going to happen, but I will be giving you that in a future sneak peek. And just like Clash Royale and Clash of Clans, you can now share your replays directly in the club. What's the Mega Pig event? It's an exciting monthly event that's live for a whole weekend. Every member gets tickets and the more you win with them, the more rewards you get. Seems simple, right? To get those mega rewards, you need to max out your mega pig. You can get up to five mega pigs per event, but your club needs to earn 50 wins for each one. If you've used all your tickets, don't worry. You can help your club mates who still have tickets by helping them get their wins. After the event ends, the Mega Pig gives club members coins, power points, bling, and a lot of star drops. Plus, the top contributor gets extra star drops. How do you actually play the Mega Pig event? Well, it's full of surprises. You get a random map, a random game mode, and a random modifier. There's a picking phase similar to power matches, but you don't ban any brawlers. Plus, you can't really see what the opponents are banning either. So what you gotta do is choose your best composition for the map, for the mode, and the modifier in play. Then it's time to battle. But unlike Club League and Power League, it's a best of one instead of a best of three. And here's where it gets interesting. The special modifiers that I talked about, well, they are quite unique. You might face super bushy where bushes keep growing from existing bushes or instant overtime where all the terrain breaks at the start, very much like the overtime in Bravo. Or there is unlimited power where you get showdown power cubes in 3v3 matches when defeating brawlers. Sometimes, however, there's no modifier at all, keeping it simple. The first Mega Pig event is coming in mid November, so get ready for some mega fun. Since we don't have Club League, Club Quest, and all the resources they bring, and since the Mega Pig event happens only once a month, they've added a 25 day login calendar event. You can now collect rewards every day, including star drops and Mega Pig pins. The higher your Club League rank, the better the rewards. It's likely a daily surprise. Remember to subscribe for more details on Mega Pig in future sneak peek videos. Now for some news we got some more game modes that are returning. Present Plunder, now known as Pumpkin Plunder, is back for Brawloween. Duels are back and will be rotating with Wipeout. With this update, the premium Robo Mike and Evil Queen Pam skins are getting all the additional benefits of being 299 gem skins with exclusive pins, sprays, profile pictures, and takedown animation. Great news for all brawlers. The power point cap is finally removed, allowing you to store power points for the future. So the devs did make good on one of their promises. Star powers and gadgets that got nerfed after the power level rework have been adjusted by either a percentage change or a flat value change. And there we have it. If you like this video, you might want to check this one here. And don't forget to use code PEN in the Brawl Stars shop when you're buying these nifty skins. Now, get ready for Brawloween. No, Brawloween. Look at the camera. Yeah.